the channel, Fiddle here. I'm in the kitchen and today we're going to be making emoji cookies. Today for the cookie mix, I'm using a stand mixer. You can use a handheld mixer. I have a pre-mixed sugar cookie mix. Use whatever recipe you'd like. And for this one, you need a third of a cup of softened butter and one egg. Once we get the mixture combined, we need to roll it out. So you need a rolling pin and a cookie cutter, which is just a circle cookie cutter because the emojis are like smiley faces. And for the cookie icing, you will need four and a half cups of sifted powdered sugar, four tablespoons of light Cairo syrup, three to four tablespoons of milk, and I have icing bags to put the cookie mix in and toothpicks to help spread the cookie icing. And the colors that we are gonna be using today is red, pink, yellow, blue, and black. I have a number one, a number two, and a number three tip, and this will help you get the little details that you want on your cookie with the icing. So the first step is to preheat your oven to 375 or 350 if you're using a dark coated pan. And we're gonna start with the sugar cookie mix, and you're just gonna open it up and put it in your bowl. And put your softened butter in with your sugar cookie mix. And you need to add your one egg, And we're going to mix. If you're using a stand mixer, you need to make sure you scrape the bottom and get all the little bits together. Yeah, actually, I think we're good. I love the stand mixer. It's pretty awesome. We're going to get rid of this. Now you're just going to take a little bit of flour and spread it on the surface that you want to put your sugar cookie dough on. And you're gonna take your sugar cookie dough out. Now you wanna knead your dough and just make sure it's, it's kinda of sticky but not super, super sticky. And we're just gonna combine it, make sure it's all combined. And then you need some clear cellophane wrap and we're going to put it in the freezer for about 20 to 30 minutes. You want it to be cold when you go to cut out your sugar cookies. So this is kind of funny, goes to show how often I use cellophane. I have red cellophane left over from Christmas, which was actually probably not this Christmas, but the Christmas before. But it's the same thing, it'll work. Now you just take your sugar cookie dough and you're going to wrap it up. It don't have to be perfect. It's just to stick it in the freezer for 20 to 30 minutes. And that's all you need. So while we're waiting for the sugar cookie dough to cool, we're going to make our sugar cookie icing. So I have four cups of powdered sugar already sifted. And I'm going to put my last half a cup in here. And we're just going to sift that. And there we go, we have our powdered sugar all sifted. And we're going to add our four tablespoons of light corn syrup. For the milk, it's not exact on how much you need. You need to mix it together and you just need to go by what consistency you need for the sugar, it could depend. So we're gonna add three tablespoons to start off. Okay, so for the icing, I ended up needing six and a half tablespoons of milk, depending on, it, it varies, it really varies on how much you need, but you want the consistency when you take your spoon and you can go through it, it'll stay separate before it starts to come back together, but not for very long. If it stays separate and doesn't go back together, you have it too thick, you still need more milk. And that's what we need. So once you have your icing made, you're gonna separate it, and I don't need very much of the red, the pink, the blue, or the black, so I have just a little in these containers. And I need mostly yellow, so that's the majority of it. And then I have set some aside to stay white. 
So you're just going to open your containers. And I'm using gel food coloring. You can use the liquid food coloring. It doesn't matter. This is just easier. You just want to use a toothpick and take your toothpick and take some of your gel color and just put it in there. And you want to start mixing it up before you add too much because you can't take some out. You can always add more. And it turns very bright very quick. And you want to make sure it's all mixed in. So I think I put just the right amount. It is a very, very bright yellow. But I think it's going to work just perfect for our cookies. So we're done with the yellow and we're going to move on and add a little bit of red. Not much at all. And for this, you just use your toothpick because it's not very much. And you just want to try to get it all mixed in and go for the color red that you want. You don't want it too pink. Well, it swirls in, it's pretty. I don't know if toothpick's the best mixing method for this, especially in this odd shaped little container that I'm using. That's going to be our red. Now we're going to go for pink. Is that going to look the same color? Does it look the same? So I think the pink and the red are too similar in color, so I'm going to add more red to make it a deeper red. Because I don't want them to look the same, wouldn't be the point. That is pink. It's like that bubblegum medicine you had when you was a kid. So we're gonna add more red. This is for the ones that has the heart for the eyes or the... Why did I pick red and pink? Some of the hearts are pink, some are red. I don't think I needed both, really, honestly. I think that'll be red enough. We'll make it work. Sometimes you just gotta make it work. And we're gonna do the blue. So there's our blue. Now we're going to do the black. Alright, now we have our black and we are done mixing all of our icing so we just need to put them in our piping bags. You're going to take your bags and you're going to put them in a cup which makes it so much easier to pour the icing in and not have your icing go everywhere. Your hand doesn't get stuck. <laughs> I can't get it out. And just fold it down over the cup and you're going to pour your icing in. Okay, and then you'll just take your bag and fold it back up. And I just have rubber bands. You can use ponytail holders, anything you have on hand. You just want something to secure your bag at the top so it doesn't come spilling out when you're using it. And we're done with the icing. Okay, now that we have our icing all done, colored and in bags, we're gonna set it off to the side and we're gonna check on our cookie dough. Okay, so now we got our cookie dough out of the freezer. Put it in there for 20 minutes. And if it gets too cold, just let it come up a little bit. You want it not too soft because when you roll it, you want to be able to have it come out. It won't keep the right texture for you to do your cutouts. Okay, and then you're just going to take your cookie cutter and put some flour on it. Make sure your dough don't stick to it and you're just going to cut out your cookies and you'll lay them on your baking sheet. So according to the directions on the recipe I'm using, they're going to be in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes or until golden brown. Okay, 
Okay, so now that we're done with all the boring stuff, now it's time to get started on decorating, which I think will be pretty fun. We brought the cookies out of the oven and they're completely cool and ready to start icing. I have some wax paper laid on the table to put the cookies after I decorate them. And I have my little cake turntable thing just to give a little height because I'm working on a low surface and I want the cookie a little closer to me so I don't have to bend over so much to decorate. And we're gonna get started with the yellow. You're gonna make a thin line around the cookie and then you're gonna fill it in, but you want the line to dry a little first. So I would suggest just go ahead and lining all of your cookies before you fill it in, just to give them time to dry. And we're gonna get started. Okay, so now that we've made our circles, I started with the number three tip to make the circles and I changed it to a number five tip. And we're just gonna fill it in and then we're gonna take a toothpick and we're going to fill in the little gaps. Okay guys, now that we have our yellow all on all of the cookies, we just put the circle around it and then we filled them in and let them dry. We're going to start decorating them to look like emojis. And you can pull your emojis up on your phone, you can pull them up on the computer and just look at them and try to draw the face as best as you can. Don't know how this is going to turn out, but we're going to give it a try. So they're not perfect, but I think they turned out pretty darn cute. You could leave a comment let me know which ones you like or which ones were your favorite. And if you decide to make emoji cookies, you could send me a link to your video or put up a picture because I would love to see them. And if you would like to see more Piddle in the Kitchen, please subscribe because I will be coming up with more videos. And if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And I'm going to have 
Mosey come in and taste one of my cookies. So which one of these cookies would you like to try? They all look good, I swear. Molly face is my favorite, so I don't, I absolutely do not want to eat that. I want to eat the sunglass one. Well, eat the sunglass I feel one. like this is the, okay, so when I text Piddle, or I'm trying to be smooth, <laughs> always put the sunglass guy at the end. Hey, babe. So, here we go. Oh, man. Yeah, you try it, because that's a good cookie. I'm trying to grab it from you, did you notice? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to grab it from you, because that's my cookie. That's a good cookie. Mm -hmm. The icing's really sweet, Ooh, but where the yeah. cookie isn't really sweet, it kind of balances out. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good cookie. I want to eat all of them. All right, guys. Well, I'm Piddle. That's Mosey. That's it. That's it. Hey, really? She digs this. Like it. Subscribe to it. She loves doing this. It's Piddle. <laughs> that's Mosey. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. <laughs>